Hello everyone and welcome to the review of the Vioho A119S uh, dash camera. Uh, this is what I consider to be one of the best uh, dash cameras in the world and uh, I'm going to tell you why. Because first it uses the A119 platform which is proven to be very reliable and it has very good uh, support and second to that it uh, features all what you want included in a dash camera uh, it has a super capacitor instead of a lithium battery it has a new uh, sensor that uh, it's uh, very effective in a low light it has an optional GPS logger and of course you can optionally uh, use a circular polarization filter especially made for it this will uh, highly improve image quality as it will eliminate all the glare from uh, your uh, windshield so that's very nice uh, the rest of the options are similar to the A119 and uh, this is the camera that comes with all that you need it has loop recording it has a lot of features which I'm going to show you right away so the camera looks like this and the lens is adjustable like that it also has a docking which I'm going to present you uh, this uh, docking will uh, be either a simple holder for the camera or the GPS antenna and let's see what else we get into the box this is the full option version so it comes with all the accessories included first it comes with a power kit uh, it has a 5 volt power supply with two USB plugs and a long cable this will enable you to use the camera right away the cable is also good quality, it's pretty thick, so it will not uh, uh, do a voltage drop. This is important when you run long USB cables. Some dash cameras do not work with very long cables or they become unstable uh, because uh, the cable will make a voltage drop so big that uh, you aren't going to get 5 volts to the camera but something like 4 volts which may not be enough with this cable this problem won't happen and you also get this little charger that has a 3.1 amp output which is more than enough for this kind of camera also get this uh, adhesive clips to root uh, your wires and avoid clutter so you can uh, fix it under the dash, on uh, the side of the windshield and so on here are uh, mounting pads with adhesive and the GPS antenna which is also a holder it looks like this and you can power the camera through it directly so this will be hardwired and glued on uh, to the windshield and if you want to take the camera away you just unclip this and that's it very simple to use design and very effective last but not least you will get a regular mini USB cable this is for uh, downloading data from the camera and uh, some extra adhesive pads and a wire, a string wire this is for taking the pads off you will put it under the pad and pull strong and it will uh, take the pad off of course it comes with the uh, English manual which is written very well it will uh, get you started and also explain menu functions which is very good and now let's take a look at the uh, filter the filter comes in a tiny box very well packaged and looks just like this this will clip over like that and it's installed and now you have a circle polarization filter and no more glare now let's power it on I'm going to use a power bank 
I'm also going to insert the micro SD for testing purposes. Nothing too serious, just a test card. And I'm going to use a power bank to power it on. And power. Let's zoom in a bit. As you can see, when uh, powered on, the camera already started to automatically record, and it's doing that in uh, full HD 60 frames per second, and showing that it's recording. Uh, you get a quick uh, key here for uh, uh, saving the file as an emergency. This will lock the file that is written now and it shows that this file is under lock. This is useful when you observe something in traffic, you just push the button and the file won't get overwritten. You can also cancel the microphone if you want to talk something and don't want to have it on the recording, you just press the mic and you will temporarily disable the microphone. Right, so let's see the menu. Uh, Another thing interesting, if you quickly press menu, it will take a picture snapshot, which is again nice. And if you press the record button, it's warning you that the camera is no longer recording. You can see, and now you can enter the menu. And let's browse the settings. To navigate the menu, you are going to use the recording and microphone buttons as up and down and the emergency it's the enter button or ok so first option is resolution if i click on emergency it's going to enter in uh, resolution uh, menu and here with up and down you can uh, select your preferred resolution the a119s it's uh, full hd and uh, it can go up to 60 frames per second uh, you won't find 2k resolution like you uh, are getting in the A119 uh, simple version. I'm going to select 60 frames per second. Let's see the rest of the settings. Now, a loop recording, you can set various intervals. I'm going to select 3 minutes. Exposure value compensation, where you can adjust with a lot of steps. Y dynamic range. This will improve uh, contrast between uh, dark areas and uh, uh, overexposed areas, like uh, uh, full sunshine when you are driving to a forest. You are going to get details of the dark part of the forest and also have a good uh, up exposure without washing out the colors or overexposing. Uh, white things like license plates. Time lapse recording uh, it's useful especially when you are driving on a very long road trip. Uh, you can squeeze the full video uh, on a fast forward mode. This is uh, nice if you want to save your uh, vacation uh, trip. You can fit 12 hour recording on a regular micro SD card but it will be faster than usual, like 10 times faster. You can select that by selecting the speed of the recording. This will actually take a snapshot, so if I select one second, it will be one frame per second video, and a regular video is played back at 30 frames, so you can correlate to that. I'm going to let it off. Motion detection, it will automatically trigger video recording when you have movement in front of the camera. This is for the GPS unit, I'm going to turn it on as I have already installed the antenna. Here you can select the speed units, kilometers or miles. The G sensor is uh, the shock sensor in case of impact the recording will be saved and uh, not deleted in a loop record. 
you get also line departure warning system and front collision warning system this is done by visual tracking of the sides of the road or judging the distance between you and the car in front of you you can enable or disable the camera will emit a warning for those date stamp if you want to have date stamp on your video or not of course you can also do stamp for uh, the GPS with coordinates with speed you can add camera stamp model if you want to you can enable or disable uh, uh, audio recording but you can do that with the mic key also screen saver is the interval after which the LCD turns off uh, when the camera is doing its job LEDs you can set uh, if you want to have the buttons lit up or no and other LEDs if there are others and it doesn't have other LEDs and if I put it off the recording button is now dimmed but I like to see it lit up and it won't influence your video because this camera is thought for being a dash cam and it doesn't have any kind of stupid LED lights that will shine on your uh, windshield so you can uh, use this LED because it doesn't have others to ruin your video date and time it's obvious you can say it's the date and time of the camera the time zone the language let's see what languages it supports so if you want to pause to see what other languages are available here but I'm going to let mine in English the beep sound is the thing that I'm going to disable now and it's for confirming the button that is pressed or not the frequency of the light source to avoid flicker image rotation in case you install the camera upside down format option for the SD card an option to remind you to format the SD card to prevent possible errors you can set an interval for it default settings for uh, the camera car number this will uh, display your uh, license plate if you want to enter that information a custom timestamp you can add your name or if you want to some other informations and of course the firmware version and my camera has this version right now some of uh, you may ask uh, what the deal with uh, super capacitor and uh, what is its uh, job well uh, you see uh, putting a uh, lithium battery on your windshield in the summer time is a fire hazard because lithium batteries do not like to get overheated and in a black camera in the windshield uh, kept at high temperature for a long time the battery can uh, deform or even burst in fire so it's a fire hazard for your car using a capacitor is 100% uh, safe it's an electronic component that can be charged or discharged uh, a lot of times like a uh, rechargeable battery but with a much larger lifespan it doesn't wear out like a regular battery and it's also fireproof it will not uh, burst into flames if overheated and uh, your car won't uh, get uh, caught in a fire uh, how does it work well actually uh, the camera is very smart uh, if you unplug the power let's say turn off the engine you may know that uh, on a regular camera with the battery when you take the power out the camera will run on the battery for a short period of time save the video file and uh, close down so what happens with the capacitor the capacitor has a tiny amount of current and when you take the power out the LCD will shut down but the camera will keep running until it finishes recording the video file and saves it properly so that it won't get corrupted so I'm going to shut the light off so you can see it's a recording button and if I take the power out you can see the camera is still working 
being uh, supplied with power from the capacitor and now it has uh, turned off but the video file is properly saved it won't be corrupted and uh, the capacitor did this job so you can see the video file is not corrupted and you want to get a fire hazard so the super capacitor is uh, a very big plus on uh, this uh, kind of uh, camera model so this was just the first uh, part of the review for a dash camera it's more important to see footage from it and uh, how it uh, copes with light changes uh, and uh, uh, poor light and uh, full sunshine and so on so I'm going to install it into the car and uh, start testing it and I'm soon going to upload samples with it I'm also going to compare it with some uh, other cameras so a lot of tests are going to be soon uploaded on my channel until next time bye bye